Sure the freshman quarterback. Kaepernick hands it off to Lippincott. Oh, it's too easy. 25 yards for the score. The Broncos need a touchdown and an extra point to keep this game alive. have really done whatever they wanted to do offensively. They fake to Johnson. Sark. Syracuse comes into the Steel City with one of the best receivers in all of the nation. While Pitt counters with a record breaking running back. Comes Connor straight ahead and they're not quick enough to react. On first and goal, James Connor leaps into the end zone. Touchdown, James Connor. Going TD in the first quarter. Mahoney took it in. Now he throws. Diving to the end zone. Amba and Atawo, and it's a touchdown for Syracuse. Got to throw the football. Into the end zone. Let's see what Peterman does. He's got room to run. Nathan Peterman stretching the ball out and he scored. Catch up with more than you can block. Five receivers set for the orange. Intercepted. Dane Jackson to the end zone for the Panthers. Connor. Henderson. Look at Henderson go. Quadri Henderson just a race to the end zone. So he's got two rushing touchdowns on the season. French again. It's the same play. Same path as Henderson. French around a block into the end zone. Here on that 76 team, he was the honorary captain. Mahoney up the middle. And this is third and long. I haven't seen much from Orndorff lately. Over the middle, it's caught. Be on the 40. Ford down the sideline for the Panthers. Dantes Ford and a touchdown. And they are. They're coming. Mahoney releases and it's caught for a touchdown. Third and goal. Peterman to the back of the end zone. Touchdown. Jester Wea for the Panthers. And the Pittsburgh Panthers will beat Syracuse for the fourth straight time, 76 to 61. And this team can compete with anybody in the MAC. On the ground again, Bellamy, big hole. And he's got room to run. It's a foot race to the end zone. And nobody catches Levante Bellamy. Back. On first down, gets some air under it. And the big man, Kamadi Holsey, is loose to the 20. Ball comes loose. Is it in play? Here comes Western Michigan back the other way. This is Stephon Claiborne. He's to... Last year, they scored a total of 10 points in the first quarter. Wide open down the middle. Jacob Martinez to the... There. No doubt now. Look, Buffalo's going to go heavy set. They're going to go quick here. They've got Reed in the backfield. Easy touchdown. Punching it in. Buffalo takes the lead. 451. Yeah. And uh, their sales pitch worked. And as evidenced here uh, in October, with a wide open Eskridge, he walks into the end. Trying to have some fun. I love it. 
on second down. Pass complete. Jarvion Franklin, he's got himself an escort into the end zone. I have Phillips defending here. They go that way, and there is the title out there again. Got him deep. That's his man. Buffalo. Washing all sorts of time. He's got a man. It's his tight end. Wide open. Get called. Into the end zone. Yes, sir. Caught. Touchdown. Rock the 31. And you figure Franklin is fresher than everybody else out there. On play action. Watson in motion. They hand Double him pass. the football. He's going to throw it back to the quarterback, Wasink. And he walks into the end zone for a Western Michigan touchdown. Second down and 10. The running back is Theo Anderson. The quarterback, Drew Anderson. With the pocket collapsing, he just throws it up. Come up with a big stop. Wasink hands to Franklin. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Bronco. I'm looking for Ernsberger here. He seemed to be, make some plays down the red zone. Direct snap. Here comes Watson. Fakes the pass, dives towards the end zone. Anderson again. Osborne. And he is able to haul it in for a touchdown. Master his trades. He works at it every day. Double reverse. Got it. Indeed they do. The quarterback, Drew Anderson, on the receiving end of the pass from Anthony Johnson. Second and two. Franklin picks his way into the end zone. Ricci in motion. They'll go to Franklin, and he won't get to the end zone. None wide left. Johnson wide right. Anderson over the middle. He's got a man. Touchdown, Buffalo. Osborne one more time. And then he's throwing it up in the air and letting goes, those guys go make a play. Anderson's looking that way. Lofts it up. Fight for the football. Come on. Oh, I thought he Incomplete. had it. Incomplete. Antonio Nunn, the redshirt freshman from Tampa, looked for a moment like he had, might have that football. You watch uh, much tennis, Doug yeah. Sherman? Yeah. You know how, like, if you're serving and the your opponent breaks you? Mm -hmm. This is like the first. They've got two plays to pick up five yards. Will this play do it? Indeed it does. What a catch by Wasson. On the receiving end. Wasson escapes the rush. Can't escape it the second time. Really held the game up with cramps. Drew Anderson pulls the football down. He's going to run. He's going to run and get in. For the win. Drew Anderson running for his life and he's dropped. Franklin to the end zone. He's in for a touchdown. And Western Michigan. Well, they take the lead. The Broncos from the sideline started running out onto the field, but then the get-back coaches got him back. Rolling on the field is a touchdown. Play is confirmed. Game is over. Game's, Game's over. over. <laughs> Last Saturday in November, number seven LSU. Number 22, Texas A&M. Georgia playing its best football of the season. Meanwhile, Kellen Mond now two straight completions. But this one is a loss and a fumble. It's stripped away. Streaking the other way is Michael Divinity. Touchdown, LSU. Fake to Brosette. Moreau. Touchdown. Bulldozing his way to give the LSU Tigers the lead. I didn't think Moreau was going to be able to get out. It looked like he was hung up at the line of scrimmage and he was able to fight his way loose. For Texas A&M down seven. Mon trouble with the snap. Almost went down to a knee. And that ball is picked off. It's Delpit that'll put it away with his sixth interception of the season. LSU is going to 10 wins.
take a look here as White comes in after Mon struggles with this snap, and that oh. knee almost went down. That is what they're looking at. Yeah. yeah. Did he possess the ball when his knee was down? Or did his knee go down before he grabbed the football? Touching the live ball with your knee down. Yeah. I mean, the play is dead. After review, the quarterback's knee was down at the 39-yard line. Ball will be placed there where it will be third down. Please set the game clock to 36 seconds. Game on the line. Mon, end zone. Caught! Courtney Davis! You don't make any bigger catches than this one. And Kellen Mon, who has struggled this entire half through a strike, and Courtney Davis made it count. Four catches, 64 yards for Davis, and a touchdown on the final possession. Now it's Mon with Williams blocking in front. Touchdown! Brosette stretches to the goal line. Touchdown. Burrow in zone. Caught. D. Anderson. A&M brought corner pressure from the opposite side, the left side of the formation. You see Renfro doesn't get home. Miles Jones, who was able to break up a would-be touchdown catch earlier, had a chance that time. Burrow rolls out. Got it. Jefferson. to find jump ball to the end zone Rodgers I think made that catch and there's a flag wow the P.I. all over how does he make this catch but does I don't think that ball ever made contact with the ground watch Terrence Alexander pull his left hand down and Rodgers stays with this football. To extend the game. Come on. Got it! It's Rodgers again! It's been a while since Edwards Elair has been in the game. Here he is. Looks like he's gonna throw! Carter! Touchdown! Why not? Well, if Burrow's going to be your runner, then Edwards Elair naturally should be your passer. <laughs> and Tory Carter should be the receiver, who we just mentioned gets almost no targets and now makes two catches in the fifth overtime. Mond, end zone, touchdown! Rodgers again! Mond stepping up in the pocket. Didn't flush out. Kept his eyes downfield, and he's able to hit Kendrick Rogers. And this has turned into the game of the week on rivalry weekend, and Mond has Sternberger! Touchdown! Rodgers again, why not? LSU's over the football quicker. 
And Burrow keeps it himself. Touchdown to LSU. Now it's the two-point conversion to try to keep the game going. Burrow got it. D. Anderson says he's not ready to go home. Touchdown score catch. Burrow running all night into the end zone. Touchdown. Strike to Davis! Touchdown! Well, Courtney Davis, I guess he felt like he was getting overlooked. Rogers getting all the attention. So why not catch another touchdown? And they do. Mon Rogers fighting for the ball, pass interference on Greedy Williams. It was going to be another jump ball in the corner. Wow, how about and then that? Another flag. And the field judge threw his hat. He was out of flags. And a false start. He broke the huddle late. Offense the play clock. Five yard penalty. Repeat the try. From outside the five. Mon looking that way. Got it! It's Rodgers! The Aggies win the game of the year in the Southeastern Conference.